artist for Metau Arts, a nonprofit arts organization in Twisp. Today we're going to be turning everyday objects into our friends. So for this lesson, oh hey Krista. Need... Oh, wait a second. Someone's calling me. Krista. Oh hi Jacques. Cool. Thanks for joining us today. So yes, everyone, this is Jacques, and he is a uh, painter in Paris. As you can see, he's got a lovely blue ribbon here. He's very proud of his blue ribbon and his hat. So Jacques is going to be helping us with our lesson today. So Jacques, why don't you come a little closer so we can go through the materials together. So we're going to need for this lesson uh, a couple sheets of paper, scissors, tape, and if you have like clear scotch tape like this, that's great, or uh, painter's tape or masking tape also works really well. If you have some rubber bands or sometimes those little twist ties that come off of loaves of bread, those can be useful, but not necessary. Um, something to write with, so markers work really well. I have a Sharpie, but you could also just use a pencil. And then what you also will need is some everyday objects. So I have a spatula here who will be turning into a friend with the help of Jacques. And um, I also have a dish towel, which might become an article of clothing for our spatula. So go ahead and um, find some everyday objects that you think will work. Anything really works. And make sure you check with someone in your household if it's okay to use them first. So this project won't hurt the, um, won't hurt the object, but it's still good to check to make sure it's okay. Okay. We're going to start by making some eyes for our everyday object. So for my spatula, I'm going to make some eyes. And eyes really help things come alive because when things have eyes, they feel like they're looking at you and listening to you. So eyes are a great place to start when you're turning everyday objects into your friends. So there's a few different types of eyes we could make. Um, we can start with a really simple one. And that's just draw a circle or an oval. So there's my two circles. And then you just draw a big black circle inside of them, like that. And that's a really nice kind of simple, expressive eyes to make. Um, and you can see, depending where you put the black circle, you can make your person rolling their eyes like that. <laughs> or you could make them going cross-eyed. Here, I'll do a little cross-eyed demo. Right, there's cross-eyed one. So, or you could have them looking right at you. So, make your two big circles and then the black circle pretty much right in the middle. That'll give you them um, being a very good listener to you and looking right at you. Right, Jock? Yes, that's right. All right, so that's one really nice type of eye you can do and it's really simple and very expressive. Um, another type would be a little bit more realistic, I'd say. So we'd start by drawing an almond shape. So if you look at your own eyes in the mirror, you'll see they're more or less almond shaped. Um, and then you can draw just a circle inside like that, and then a small black circle inside that, which is the pupil. Um, so we've got this little bit larger circle, and if you have colors, you could color it in, like you could color it in blue or brown, whatever color eyes you want. You could also add an eyelid, just a little line above the top. And then we draw the other one. Start with your almond shape. A big circle inside, and then a small black circle. And a line over the top for the eyelid. So that's a nice, a little bit more realistic style of eye. Uh, Jacques' eyes are, um, it's like he's squinting a little bit. So if you draw a swooping line and then another swooping line that kind of swoops away from it, so we've got a narrow end and a wide end, then you can draw part of a circle inside of that and draw a pupil inside of that. And that gives you an eye that um, just looks like it's a little bit different shape than this. And it can be also be quite expressive. So then here's the other one. Nice two swooping lines, 
part of a circle and the uh, black dot in the middle. So that, this guy looks a little worried, actually, I think, <laughs> the way his eyes look. So eyes are very expressive. Um, we could make some sad eyes. Let's see. Sad eyes. Maybe we'll start with a swooping line and another swooping line. So similar to this one, but make them closer together so that the ends meet. And then we have are part of a circle and a black dot. And you don't need to make all these eyes. I'm just giving you lots of examples so that you can, you know, maybe see a type of eye that you like or excited about for your everyday object and you can pick one of those and do it. Um, we could also do kind of a cat eye. So cats have pupils that are more like that, more like slits, long and narrow, instead of round circles or a round eye with a slit, maybe kind of like a snake eye. So lots of different directions you can go for eyes. Great, so once you've drawn your eyes and found some eyes that you like, you're gonna get your scissors and you can cut out your eyes um, so that we can tape them on like I've done for Jacques here. So Jacques' eyes, I didn't cut right on the black line, I just left a little space around, which worked pretty well, but you can experiment too if you want. Experiment with how close you cut to the eyeball. So go ahead and cut out your eyes. So once you have your eyes cut out, then we need to tape them on to our object. So. I'm going to get my tape and I'm going to show you how to make a tape ball. So tape balls are really handy because you can't see the tape um, on the object. Oh, oh yes. Hello, Vanilla. Oh, so Vanilla wants me to introduce you to everyone. Um, so everyone, this is Vanilla and you'll see she's got very nice eyes. Uh, actually pretty similar to the ones I just made, except she's got these nice long eyelashes. And uh, anything else you'd like to add, Vanilla? Oh, she's just uh, very glad that you're turning everyday objects into friends, because she likes being a friend now instead of just a shoe. All right, so as I was saying, um, go ahead and take a piece of tape about um, a little longer than one of the segments of your finger, and you're going to find the not sticky side and put the not sticky side facing up. And then grab one end of the tape and lift up and wrap it all the way around so that the sticky side touches the not sticky side. And you get this little ball of tape. So you can take your ball of tape and put it on the back of one of your eyeballs and then Decide which way up you want your object to be. So is this the head or is this the head? I think I'm going to go for this. And you can just choose where you want your eyeballs and you just press down and the sticky ball of tape will stick it on and you don't even, um, you can't even see the tape. So that's kind of a nice trick for that, the tape roll. So I'll sh show you again, not sticky side up and just roll it around so that this, this sticky side touches the not sticky side. And there we go. The spatula, our friend spatula is being born. So, oh yes, uh, spatula, what would you like to be called? Spatula. Oh, yes, spatula is what this spatula would like to be called. So everyone meets Spatula. Uh, Spatula, this is Vanilla and Jacques. Great. So you can also make uh, other things for your everyday objects. So you could add arms if you wanted or a mouth. I kind of like that on, this, on Spatula, these look like teeth a little bit to me. So I think I'm gonna leave the mouth as is, but I am going to add some clothes. So here I have a everyday dish towel 
and you could use a rag or any little scrap of fabric. And I'm going to make some clothes for spatula. So you can be creative here. I'm just going to wrap it around. And it is winter, so nice and cozy is good, right? Okay, and this is where the rubber bands come in handy if you have one. Is, and if you have long hair, you probably already know how to do this, but you can put the rubber band around, and then if it's too loose, you can twist it once and wrap it around again. Something like that, and it just holds the clothes on really nicely. Ah, yes, Spatula, welcome to our party. <laughs> Great, so I have a couple more friends to introduce you to before we leave today. So, uh, oh, hello, Snowflake. Yes, so this is Snowflake. Okay, uh, Snowflake and Spatula, I know, are going to be great friends. And actually, would you do mind just lying down for a second? There we go. Oh, and um, this is Pasta Water. Wait, really? Yeah, okay. Pasta Water is, is her name. Uh, and you can see I used the rubber band technique here and made this nice gown for her. Um, and actually tape wouldn't stick to her, so she just has this nice wooden plain face. Oh, uh, potato. This is our little potato friend, and you can see I drew right on potato. Oh, oh, excuse me. Valentine, come join us. Come join us, Valentine. Um, so I drew right on potato. You'll see, which make sure that you ask your parents or someone in your household if you want to draw right on a vegetable. Um, but that can be kind of fun too. And he's got these fun feet. You can sit right there, okay. And here, oh, Dozer. <laughs> Here's Dozer, our good friend. And Dozer has a trick to show you because Dozer is uh, really good at doing somersaults. So there we go. <laughs> okay. So thanks for joining all of us today. Hope you made some everyday object into friends of your own. And I'll see you next time. Bye.